difference between their two stances. Anton with the one hand up, the one hand down. Todd out with both hands up because he knows how fast the punches can come in from Anton Tokarczuk. And again, not often that Todd Stout is the shorter of the two fighters, but Anton Tokarczuk, very tall, very lanky. And again, he keeps throwing out those pawing jabs. And sometimes when those land, they can do some damage. A tentative start from these two fighters. Again, just slowly finding the range. Anton describing fighting a lot like his military experience. He said, when you meet an opponent on the battlefield, you don't really have a chance to see video on them to know what they're gonna do. You have to figure that out as it's happening. And he said he likes to take that approach in the cage as well. His coaches watch the video, but he likes to figure out the fighters from when uh, they step in the cage with him. Well, you notice he starts to mimic the head movement and the hand movement so that the hands move at the same time and the head goes at the same place when he's on defense. When he's on offense, he dictates the movement. So you can see when he's mirroring Todd Stout, he won't be as aggressive. He'll be looking to counter punch. But when he starts moving his head independently, that's when he's going to start to come forward. And it was a front kick to the shin a moment ago from Tukarchuk. Stout's landed a couple of kicks of his own, both of them nodding after exchanging a couple punches. Again, Anton getting a jab through there. The tough thing about such dynamic strikers is the kn knowing that when you can engage, you can get counterpunched and ended uh, in a hurry. So that's why they're taking a little bit extra time to just try and find an opening, try and find a way inside the striking. And that was a huge shot by Todd Stout. And I think Anton was a little bit rocked by that one. Yeah, Anton taking a couple steps back after the Left hand got in from Stout, left trying that left, or, or Stout rather trying that left again. Now swarming Anton trying to get in side. Anton has some dirty boxing there. Anton breaking off and now stepping back. You see the space that Tokarczuk is creating. I don't think he's quite back from that, that left hand that landed. His eyes went back for a quick second. He was quick to recover, but again, I don't think he's all the way back yet. Again, both of these guys have knockout power. See blood dripping from the nose of Anton Tokarczuk. I was talking to our cut man, Mike Short, earlier tonight, saying that nosebleeds are the toughest cuts for him to stop because you can't readily identify where the cut is, and you just kind of have to hope for the best. Uh, so he said uh, if uh, somebody's got a nosebleed and he manages to stop it, he's much more proud of that than a big gash on a guy's face. So a nice set of exchanges there again. That left hand just missed from Todd Stout, but he seems to be finding his range here against Anton Tokarczuk, who's just giving space. The problem is we've seen this once before. Tokarczuk was giving space on an opponent, and then he hit him with a counter punch, and that was all she wrote. So Todd Stout needs to be cautiously, uh, cautiously moving forward here. Uh, cautiously aggressive, if that's the best way I can describe it. That front leg of Anton Tokarczuk's has taken some damage. Those, those kicks are all landing in exactly the same place, right on the bottom edge of the knee. And you can see, Jeremy, here, the red marks on the legs of Anton Tokarczuk. His stout, again, continues to pace, continues to go forward, throws a huge kick, and Anton tries to find a home for a punch and a kick of his own. That doesn't land, and Todd Stout right back to his feet. Now throwing punches up here against the cage right in front of us. And again, it's Todd Stout with Anton Tokarczuk up against the cage and a big knee thrown. I think Anton is lucky that that kick didn't land because I don't think Todd was standing at that point. And that would have ended the fight, absolutely. But unfortunately, it would have ended in a disqualification. But uh, again, good action here. And uh, again, this is, uh, this is what we expected from these two. It's going to be feeling out process. But once they get the range, the hands are going to start to fly and it's going to get dynamic. Again, I think that front leg of Tukarchuk has taken a little bit of damage. Seems like he's a little ginger on it. I expect uh, Todd Stout's now speeding up his movement. Nice front kick there from Tukarchuk to reestablish the space. 30 seconds remain in this first round. Here are some big shots being landed on both sides by these guys. And again, these punches are being thrown with lots of authority, including these ones from Todd Stout. And Anton Tukarchuk is unconscious. Todd Stout is back. Todd Stout with a knockout.